So the question is asked, what were the early mistakes that industry made in uh, the exploitation of gas and the extraction of gas from Pennsylvania? And I've written a, a couple papers right now on the mistakes that industry made, and I list five of them as, as really critical mistakes. One of them was that early industry showed up in Pennsylvania and failed to recognize the amount of methane present in layer after layer after layer, drilling down to the Marcellus, particularly in the northeastern part of the state. And the way this failure manifested itself was that industry thought that it could leave an open hole the, a well would be drilled through uh, the groundwater and, and the well would be cased, but then below that an open hole of several thousand feet was left and methane just came rushing out of these layers of sand, not the Marcellus, but upper layers of sand and they made the, the, that, that, uh, that methane made its way into groundwater. And that then led to the, uh, the second mistake that industry made, which was that when some um, homeowners, landowners, noticed that there was uh, methane in their groundwater, they blamed it on industry, and industry said, no, we, we didn't do it, it was there initially. Industry's mistake, of course, was that they didn't do an adequate job of testing groundwater ahead of time because it is very clear in hindsight that many of these tests would have shown that there was methane in the groundwater. Now, a third mistake that industry made was to store flowback water in open pits, just plastic line pits that leaked. And there have been a couple of instances that are going to be well documented in, in, in forthcoming books, one in particular from Washington County. Uh, uh, Pennsylvania. Another mistake that industry made, although this was before gas shale development in Pennsylvania started, was a, uh, a law uh, involving the uh, energy of America. And part of that law stipulated that, that the industry didn't have to reveal the chemicals that it was using. And of course, the landowners who were concerned that some of these chemicals might be harmful took exception to this particular rule. It became known as the famous Halliburton loophole. And the fifth mistake was that industry in Pennsylvania decided to dispose of its water pumping down into very deep wells in the eastern part of Ohio. And of course, enough water got pumped down into these wells that that started causing earthquakes, and that was another issue that, that caught the public's attention.